there is a blizzard outside and I still need to have my iced coffee safe to say that I have a problem <laughs> okay guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be kind of like a haul slash reviews of things that I've tried from the drugstore so think of it as a what's new at the drugstore video with reviews included because I've been trying a lot of the stuff already I couldn't wait to do this video so I've already used a lot of it but I still wanted to get on here and give you my thoughts on some new drugstore products so let's get started I have a really big bag but yeah let's just dig in okay where should I start okay so wet and wild I feel like that was one of the most that was one of the collections that I was most excited for, so I saw the display and I attacked it. I saw it and I was like, oh my god, everything in my cart. So I have three of the blushes right here. This one's called Brush with Danger and it is a Barbie pink. Then we got, um, this is not the one that I'm wearing. This one's called Brush with Brilliance. And then we have the one that I'm wearing, which is... Brush with Destiny. So these are the three blush, blush, blush shades. And yeah. So like I said, I'm wearing one of them now. And I don't know. I gotta say, I really like two of them. And I don't like this one. And here's why. Um, they're not the same quality as Wet n Wild blushes. Now if you have are familiar with the regular Wet n Wild blushes, they're super pigmented, really blendable. Now these are less pigmented they're not as pigmented I mean and they don't blend as easily that's what I'm trying to say here so I wore this one yesterday this one's brush with danger the Barbie pink one I mean it was just really really powdery and as I don't know if you can tell from far away but it was just look at that can you see that Hold on. just not not good at all I just I don't know see what I mean like it just I couldn't get it to blend with my brush um, but I really like the color I mean I don't I'm not scared of pink pinks like that but it just did not apply well on my skin and it looked I look like a clown pretty much this one's the one that I'm wearing right now and this one's called brush with destiny and this one was pretty it's not as pigmented but it, you can't tell that you're wearing it on your cheeks when you, once you apply it on with the brush a little bit powdery but I can work with it it does have a little bit of a sparkle I don't know how much you'll be able to tell but like I said, it is what I'm wearing on my cheeks and I liked it. I think it looks really pretty. And then this last one is Brush with Brilliance. And let's swatch on this one. Again, these are kind of powdery, which, uh, I mean, it's up to you. But I don't know. I feel like the other ones that Wet n Wild makes are a little bit better. This one has a lot more pigmentation. It's like a, kind of reminds you of like orgasm. So... Yeah, it, it has like that peachy pinkiness to it with a gold undertone, like a gold sparkle running through it. If I had to pick, I think these two are okay to try. So, definitely skip this one. I just did not like this one at all. Let me grab a wipe. I hope that everybody's doing okay. Right now we are under a state of emergency because of the blizzard. And... I got sent home early from work, which was a treat because I haven't had a day off in quite some time. So, let's, let me just get my wipe here, I'll be right back. Okay, so moving along from the blushes, then they came out with these lip pencils. These are Velvet Matte Lip Colors, also from the Fergie Collection, and I kind of just went nuts and grabbed as many as I could. I picked up five of them, and again, I'm kind of underwhelmed. Um, I don't know, I just expected these to be a lot more pigmented, and they're not. Um, for example, let's take a look at this one. This one's called Pl Plum Genu, Plum Genu, and it looks like it's going to be this really pretty mauve shade, which I absolutely love, but it's like pink, and I don't know, you can definitely build it up, but it's still not the color that you think it's going to be. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm not I'm not completely in love with these. This one's called Nude Muse. It's concealer-like, but I would still rock it if, you know, if I had a good lip liner underneath it. Called Transcendence, which I actually do like. This is a nude. It's kind of like a pinky nude, and I would definitely keep this one. It's there. And this one's called DJ Doll. Now, these were not expensive at all. They were like three bucks, because hello, it's wet and wild. But I don't know. I feel like you can get more pigmentation somewhere else. DJ Doll is like an orangey shade right there. And then the last one is called Pinky Candy. 
and this one's just not pigmented at all you have to really really build these up so if you're willing to work with them I mean they might work for you if you're somebody that does not like BAM in your face kind of lip color this would probably work for you for me it's kind of like you know what's the point here um they are matte which is nice because you know matte lips are so in right now but I don't know again I was very very underwhelmed I was like okay maybe I should have just bought two and then you know return the rest if you really want a matte lip I would go with something like NYX but I really really wish that they were the actual color that is on the cap because if they were I think these would be really really cool I feel like I was bamboozled so those are my thoughts with that. The next thing that they came out with from the Wet n Wild collection from for Fergie is the Come Correct Celebrity Concealer. And I got this in the shade Medium Golden. And I actually really like this concealer. I'm wearing it today. It looks like that. And I have to say I was very concerned about putting this on my face. I don't know what it is, but sometimes like makeup from the drugstore tends to break me out like a lot so I have to be very very careful I like this I was very surprised this is in the shade like I said medium golden it is a really opaque concealer it is very reminiscent of the a cosmetics concealer in the formula it's kind of like a thicker consistency a little bit more um, moisturizing but not as moisturizing as the a cosmetics concealer if you remember in one of my videos I said that that concealer to me I felt like it never set and it kind of left like a glossy look underneath my eyes which I wasn't a fan of but this one actually sets and I really like the coverage so I am wearing it today I didn't did I set it today I did set it I did set it with some powder I don't know if they have like a really great selection of shades but I did see I think three shades I want to say three don't hold me uh, accountable for that. Really a really great concealer and affordable. So that is all that I got from the Rimmel, I mean Fergie, no it's not actually. I picked up an eyeshadow quad. This is the eyeshadow quad in Camouflage Couture and I'll let me just show you why I picked it up. It just looked so pretty. <laughs> it is kind of like a green toned um, eyeshadow palette just by swatching. I have not used this on my eyes yet but when I dipped my hand into this gold don't understand why why no like they come wet n wild makes really nice eyeshadows i don't know why the what the fergie ones are so hit or miss i'm definitely gonna have to see how they apply on the eyes but uh, i don't know they're definitely not on par with wet n wild i would say you could definitely skip on the eyeshadow quads from wet n wild from fergie i mean okay moving along milani milani came out with matte lipsticks these are really really nice I only picked up two because I had to stop myself and I would have bought all, all of them but I knew that I only was going to use these two so the two that I got are 61 matte naked and it is beautiful that oh that is such a beautiful nude I'm so excited and these don't smell like anything I know my friend Jenny does not like how the other ones smell but yeah I don't smell anything Jenny I really don't they kind of have like a faint vanilla scent, but nothing offensive, in my opinion. This next one is called Matte Blissful. It is a beautiful pinky shade. So beautiful. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, these are super creamy. I've worn Matte Naked already, and I freaking loved it. Love, love, love. If you definitely pick them up, they're worth it. And they also, in that same, like display there was this lip liner and I really really like Milani lip liners this one is called Bordeaux and I don't know if this is new with the collection or if it's one of their you know permanent lip liners but look at this it is so beautiful oh my god oh it's a beautiful like brick red I love it I really really love it so excited to use this you have no idea moving along more lip products from the drugstore we have these now these are amazing I just I have to say they are one of the best long wearing liquid lipsticks I've ever used and I love liquid lipsticks I I've tried several from a lot of different brands and I have to say these are really 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 good I have a whole bunch I have one two three four five six I have six colors I'm wearing one right now skinny dipping and it's just a really beautiful nude I'm gonna swatch these. Hold on. 
This one's called Skinny Dipping. Like I said, it's a nude. These, you first put on the, sh the lip color and then you go over it with this gloss on the other side. It's a gloss. And it's just a clear gloss and it keeps the lipstick moisturized and the best part about them is that they don't dry out your lips um, and they don't come off weird on your lips I don't know if you guys have tried these from L'Oreal this is what the L'Oreal I don't know what they're called they're like the infallible liquid lipsticks so terrible these are very very bad do not do, don't try these definitely go for these these are really they're more affordable they're less than l'oreal is and they just wear so much nicer on your lips so that one is skinny dipping dare to pink really pretty actually make your move and i like oh i love that shade it's like a nice um, Marsala shade. Very in right now. Heartbreaker. And this one's like a deeper Marsala shade. It's like an orangey, like an orangey red. Really pretty. Kiss Fatal or Kiss Fatal. Nice berry shade. And you can layer these to be super, super opaque. But if you don't want it to be that opaque, you just put on one layer and you're good to go. And this one is called I'll Call You. And I'm just going to swatch that one on the top. I went out the other day and I made the biggest boo-boo that you can make when you wear makeup and that is not take it off. And when I woke up, I had that lipstick still on my lips. It was ridiculous. I have never in my life have I worn something that was that long wearing on my lips. So you definitely need to remove lipstick um, and you definitely have to use like an oiled based uh, makeup remover. So something like the Garnier um, makeup removing oil or um, I have a Clinique the Clinique take the day off for makeup makeup remover for lids lashes and lips this takes it off instantly but if you use like a regular soap or like your regular cleanser it's not gonna come off so you definitely have to use a makeup remover to get these off your lips but aside from that they just wear so beautiful I just love it because I don't even have to worry about it and if I feel like my lips are getting a little bit dry I just put on a little bit of a gloss and that's it I'm good to go but it's not matte. Um, if you think that these are going to be matte like some of the other long wearing lipsticks that, I have, that I've shown you guys before, it's different because it's not matte. It's definitely going to have a little bit more of a shine to it. So, I don't know. I'm very, very impressed with those. Definitely two thumbs up. Rimmel also came out with the Show Off Lip Mattes. Lip Velvet. These are matte um, show off lip lacquers. And I just did not care for these because, first of all, mine is like broken and I can't get this thing out. Okay. And the color is beautiful. It's definitely intense, but I don't like that it gets everywhere. Like it does not stay on my lips. It bleeds. And I don't like the smell at all. It smells, oh, it smells terrible. But here's the shade that I picked up. It's in the shade Meteoric Matte. It's a beautiful, whiny, reddish berry color. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just a really pretty color, but it stinks and it bleeds on my lips. I Even when I wear it with a lip liner, it still bleeds, so eh, I was not in love with these at all. Okay, and lastly that I have to show you is I got the Infallible um, Infallible Pro Matte Demi Matte Finish Foundation. I got, I got it in two shades because I'm in between shades, so I kind of have to mix them. And L'Oreal, I had a coupon. L'Oreal was buy one, get one half off, and I had a coupon, so it worked out. So I got 105 Natural Beige and 104 Golden Beige. So I am more, for the most part, I am 105, but I add a little bit of 104 just to give it a little bit more of a yellow undertone, and it works. And I am wearing it now. I do like the finish. It is a very, very, very matte um, foundation so if you have dry skin you have to absolutely moisturize before you use this foundation because I learned that the hard way because it was just a mess when I didn't moisturize my skin it lasts a really long time it gives you really good coverage like I said I'm wearing it today and I really like it I have to say I'm very impressed with this foundation I didn't pick up the powder just because this is so matte that I think putting on the powder with it is probably overkill so yeah I love this foundation so far it has not broken me out and yeah, I'm really liking it and I've been using it a lot lately and the last foundation that I got which I have not used but let me know if you guys want to see my thoughts on it or if, because I've seen so many re reviews on this already but 
If you're curious, I will definitely review it. I got the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 220. Kind of not a fan of matte foundations, as is in case you have not noticed. I do like this because it, it is long wearing and if I if I uh, moisturize well enough I don't really have an issue but I'm not one to pick up matte foundations anymore I used to really like them but as I've gotten older my skin's changed and I definitely appreciate a little bit more uh, moisture on my skin especially when I wear a foundation but anyway this was not that much it was like six bucks at Walmart and I picked it up anyway. So let me know if you're interested. I'm actually kind of curious to see how I'm going to like this. But yeah, that is all that I got from the drugstore. It's That's what's new at the drugstore. A lot of lip products and a million options. So I hope that this was helpful in some way, shape, or form. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And if you have subscribed recently, welcome to my channel. I hope that you guys stick around. And I hope to see you again in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!